Hey folks, Bishop here, Do It Then Outdoors. Got a product review coming to you today. I want to say a shout out to my buddy Dan, uh, my partner in crime for Do It Then Outdoors. He reminded me uh, that I should do product reviews on some of the things that I buy. So I got a lot of decoys and I love DSD decoys. And what I did the other day is I bought a new hen and I saw that they had a fly down pack hunting system. It's basically a big decoy bag and you could get the decoy bag by itself or you could get this uh, chest pack that holds your binoculars and several calls and stuff. So I basically got the combo because it was cheaper uh, for the combo. And check out this decoy bag and it looks very well made. Now, I made some enhancements to mine and I'm gonna show y'all why and I'm gonna pack this thing up. Basically what it does is it comes with uh, elastic pieces here and I cut mine so that this would flop all the way out. And I'm gonna show you why I did so. Uh, but this decoy bag has a bunch of accessories, a bunch of pockets, a bunch of padding. Uh, the, uh, the chest strap here, the chest harness actually has a rain cover. I'm gonna show you all that. Basically what I'm gonna do, I'll probably be stepping in and out of the camera frame, but I'm gonna put what I need to take to the woods um, into these bags and I'm gonna see what type of space I have See if I really like it. I, I know I'm definitely gonna like the depoy bag because I've already loaded it up, but I'm not 100% sure what all I can fit in this chest piece. So we'll give it a try. Like I said, it's the, uh, the fly down pack hunting system. I think this whole thing was, uh, I don't know, maybe 150 bucks. I'll actually pull out my phone real quick, go to DSD and see. DSD decoys. So the fly down system with both packs, $149.95. So you got, I think shipping might have been free because uh, I also bought a hen. Uh, but that, that's $149.95, which was, I think, way cheaper. I think this was like maybe $89 and this was $89. So it's like, I don't know, $160, $170 bucks if you bought them separate. So I bought both sets, uh, both packs. So let's take a look at this thing. Like I said, this thing has a big flap to hold things. I cut my elastic straps. You don't have to. This bag is uh, got two pockets on the side. They're both the same exact size and they have uh, these nice um, spring activated, I guess, cinches to cinch them up. Same here. It's got another one on this side. And then this right here, they say doubles as a actual a pad if you wanted to, I guess, fold it over. You could sit on this as a butt pad. You also got backpack straps, but they said somewhere it has the option to um, hide one of these straps, like down in there. There's a, a place to hide the strap place to hide the strap here and basically what you could do is make this into a sling so I can take these straps shove them up under here or this side whichever you want shove either one of these down through here or here you can see the hole there hole there and then here and here. And you could do either backpack straps or a sling. I'm probably gonna end up doing the sling just because I have a bunch of other stuff that I carry. But that's pretty cool actually. All right, so let's see if all Bishop's stuff will fit in this bag and then we'll move on and see what all we can get in here. So what does Bishop like to have? Funny you ask that, let's see. First and foremost, he's got his redhead crazy Jake that he calls Marshawn Lynch. I run this thing with a remote stake and it drives the turkeys crazy. Now next, I'm going to get one of my older DSDs. This is the upright hen. 
This is absolutely, in my opinion, and DSD does not pay me. I wish they did. This is the best decoy on the face of the freaking earth. I almost would fight somebody over it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I mean, it's so good, it comes with a very heavy duty steel stake. And it's so good, I had so many turkeys attack it last year that it literally started to bend the stake. And this stake is made out of steel. Okay, so I'm basically setting that decoy down in the cavity of my redhead decoy. Next is my new DSD feeding hen. Uh, shout out to DSD for these new uh, bags. Unbelievable. Way better than the old bag. Way heavier duty. And obviously, I got this decoy. I don't have to pack the bags in here, but I do it just because I'm anal. I don't want my decoys to get scratched and things like that. So, so here we are. We basically got three decoys in there. Now what's Bishop got? Well, Bishop self-films, so he's got two of these mini blinds. Now, I usually only carry one, but this year, I'm just going to have two with me. Now, keep in mind, I have some pretty decent private properties, so I'm not like running and gunning. If I'm running and gunning, I'm going to take probably one hen decoy and one of these little blinds, if even that. Definitely taking a hen decoy. So, got these blinds in the side pockets. And now, what else do we have? We have our redhead remote stake that's going to fit down in here as well. Nice and comfy. And then I'm just going to draw it up. all the way in and then the last thing i have and the reason i cut this bag is my jake fan and i carry it in a nice case so that's going to go there and this is going to snap in here and i'm going to run it through and snap in there so that's it there's my whole decoy system right there in one and it's the padding is unbelievable yes i know some of you are like man turkey hunting's turning into duck hunting guess so i love this these decoys and this setup so this is what i'm going to take personally now this other bag i've not really played with so we're gonna see what we can do here it has all kinds of stuff it has a little pouch in the back that you unzip and has a rain fly to cover it so your calls don't get wet love that i think that's absolutely phenomenal but let's see what all we can fit in here because I may not carry, um, I may not carry a vest this year. So I'm going to take my Primo's Heartbreaker, squeeze her in here. Now I also have another box call because it's a gobble box. It's just this Lynch, and that's it. Just sounds so good as a gobble box. So I'm going to try to squeeze it in here as well on the other side because I believe it's meant for two box calls there we go there with those two now let's throw some shells in here some of these Fox Trot customs we'll get us some shells in there got a heavy shot here a little 20 gauge some of these are tungsten, some of them aren't. 
Now what we need, right? Got to have them mouth calls. So I got three in there and just an old Quaker boy. Got three in here and an old Quaker boy case. All right. So let's open this up. Looks like a little piece there for a scratch pad. So I'm going to step out of view. All right. So what we got here, got a little scratch pad, a little bit of sandpaper. So we'll put that and let this thing pinch onto that. All right. Now it's all kind of things down in there. What I got to figure out is where are the binoculars supposed to go? Man, I almost think they want the binoculars to go in here with the slate calls. Let me make sure. Yeah, I guess so. So I'm going to carry two slate calls. Got the old Roberts. Love it. And I guess I'm going to throw one maybe right here or maybe not. I just don't know. So we got this back here. This is going to hold a striker. This is going to hold a striker. So we're good there. I don't know about these binoculars though. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll fit in there. Feels like I got a lot more room down in here than I thought. Let me move this. Oh, there they go. That works. So now what I got to figure out is where do I put, where did they put, do they only take, there's more striker slots right there and there. So I'll throw another striker in here. Uh, better carry me some chalk, right? Got to chalk it up. So I'm probably going to put that in a tiny Ziploc bag just so it doesn't leak anywhere. Maybe set that there. Is that where another call goes maybe? Because I would like to get, yep, yeah, maybe so. I'd definitely like to get two calls in here. And then I got all this room back here too. That's probably where I'm going to put some gloves and a face mask. So let me grab a pair of gloves and grab a face mask. One of the things that I may not be able to carry is my trimmers, but I could definitely put those um, in my decoy bag. So let's see how this thing fits. Goes overhead. Straps come under. Got a lot of stuff in there, I'm not gonna lie to you. I gotta work on that the magnetic piece though. Because I may my binoculars may be too big or something. Obviously we would tighten all these up. Yeah, so it, it doesn't love my binoculars in there, but it'll definitely work. All 
I almost think my binoculars would probably fit better in the back. But it's definitely a lot of pockets in there. I'm going to put that other just like I said just playing around to see how this thing should go I definitely see a And that's one thing you probably need to watch out for. See how I have that down? Want to make sure your stuff don't slip out, for sure. Now I might edit some of this out, or I may let you see it all. I just want to make sure that I'm pleased with, you know. So that's without the slate calls and you technically could put them I could easily put them back in the back here that may be what I do and that's probably what I'm going to do there I mean I got pretty much everything that I carry except for these trimmers Somebody's at the door. No. All right, so I'm the terrible father because that was my kid on the school bus and I almost missed her. Molly, I'm gonna say hey to the camera. Hey. So, I definitely like this thing. I got everything in there. Probably could squeeze these in here, but I'm gonna play around with it more because it definitely shows a, a, a slight call here. So if I put one here, I don't, I don't, you know, I may, for those of you who want to carry binoculars, you may want to put that slate call in this back piece, just because you're probably not going to get these binoculars out unless you're seeing a turkey. So you know you're going to get your slate call out. So I may do that. I may do that. Just put both of those. Even though you can see it, it's meant to go there. It's got more pouches down in here. I'm thinking that I may put this here. Put my gloves and my face mask in there. So what we got? We got two box calls, three strikers could add a fourth if I wanted two slate calls binoculars we got our um, I guess I could try to put those in there eh, I think those would just go in my other bag So I'm gonna put my all my stuff in there for conditioning. Got my binoculars right there. Something else. I'm not liking this. Just it's all about figuring out your, you know, getting your configuration right. Now that's good right there. So maybe this stuff needs to go here. Zip that up. And maybe even put it, because this is kind of, in my opinion, you want this to be flimsy. So you can put your conditioner stuff. This would definitely, for those of you who don't want binoculars, 
I mean, this is this is definitely the place. There you go. For those of you who don't want binoculars, though, I mean, this thing is really, really good setup. This is my remote for my my crazy Jake. Probably put it on there like that, and just put it down in the pocket. And I'll probably set these bad boys. We'll go down here beside this blind. So there we go. Pretty much just replaced my turkey vest with this pack as well as, you know, the decoy bag. I like it for 150 bucks. This is, I mean, you can abandon all this and run and gun with this. You can accessorize it however you want. For 150 bucks though, to me, this is well worth it. So a big shout out to DSD. I think they did a wonderful job here. Like I said, I got self filming stuff. So, you know, this is only half the equipment I gotta take. I got another backpack with all these cameras, GoPros, Max 360 Maxes and stuff. So I'm trying to make it a lot easier on me for the decoys. That's originally why I bought this because I used to just carry the decoys by themselves with, you know, three decoy bags. But now I have literally everything in this one bag and it's unreal. I love it. So until next time from Bishop and the boys that do it then outdoors, y'all have safe hunting and we will be seeing y'all pretty soon for the New England turkey season.